four, three, two, one, and liftoff. How would man ever reach the moon? Engineer the impossible. Apollo astronauts deliver the greatest moment of the 20th century. When we left Earth, the NASA missions goes deep inside the film vaults of NASA in a quest to reveal stunning new images in high definition. Landing the Eagle, May 25, 1961. With America losing the space race to the Soviet Union, President John F. Kennedy makes a bold declaration. Before this decade is out, of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Kennedy's charge to Congress spearheaded the most ambitious effort ever conceived, and one that many thought was impossible. Apollo, NASA's third manned space program, was launched. The Apollo program's mission was to land humans on the moon and bring them back to Earth safely. Scientists felt the pressure and moved quickly to test their first rockets. But tragedy would strike. Apollo 1 astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee would perish in a cockpit fire. This event marked the worst disaster in the short history of the space program. Spurred by this tragic event came a new resolve at NASA. The scientists and astronauts emerged more determined and focused on their goal, the first manned lunar landing. A vital piece to the puzzle was the Saturn V rocket, the largest, most powerful ever constructed. Standing six stories taller than the Statue of Liberty, it carried nearly 3,000 tons of fuel. This vehicle would propel the astronauts to a moon orbit and then back to Earth. But the Saturn V's payload also included 5 million pounds of high explosives. Some thought it might explode en route to the moon, or worse, get lost in space, a quarter million miles from home. December 21st, 1968, 7.51 a.m. The Apollo 8 mission was underway. One minute and six seconds after liftoff, the Saturn V rocket went supersonic, burning 20 tons of fuel a second and creating seven and a half billion pounds of thrust. Three days later, Apollo 8 reached lunar orbit and was hurled to the dark side of the moon. The astronauts knew they might collide with the lunar surface, or worse, skip off into space. After a brief radio silence, Apollo 8 emerged safely on the other side of the moon, and astronaut Bill Anders captured one of the most remarkable images in history, Earth rising. Okay, uh, Houston, the moon is essentially gray, no color. The success of the Apollo 8 flight confirmed NASA could reach the moon and return safely to Earth but the next hurdle required putting a man on the lunar surface. NASA scientists developed the LEM, a fragile spacecraft made of mylar and cellophane, designed to transfer astronauts from their spaceship to the lunar surface and back. During Apollo missions nine and 10, the LEM would be successfully flown in both the Earth and Moon orbits. But landing on the Moon would be saved for the Apollo 11 mission the most anticipated moment in human history. NASA astronauts Michael Collins, Buzz Aldrin, and Neil Armstrong were selected for the historic mission. The eyes of the world followed these men as they readied for their storied journey to the surface of the moon. July 16, 1969. Eight years, one month, and 22 days after President Kennedy's challenge, NASA was ready to turn the dream into reality. The Saturn V booster rocket inserted the Apollo 11 astronauts into lunar orbit within 76 hours of liftoff. Armstrong and Aldrin would pilot the LEM down 60 miles to the chalky moon surface. Roger, you're a go to, con you're a go to continue power descent. You're a go to continue power descent. The two maneuvered their flimsy craft around a boulder field, nearly running out of fuel but at 4.18 p.m. Eastern Time, okay, they hit their target. We copy you down, Eagle. 
Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Neil Armstrong would be the first to exit and step onto the lunar surface. I'm going to step off the land now. Armstrong planted his foot on the moon and entered the history books. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. NASA had achieved the impossible, and the world reveled in the success of the Apollo 11 mission. 14 years and 17 missions later, the Apollo program came to an end. In 1972, Eugene Cernan was the last person to leave the lunar surface. It has been over 35 years since man has walked on the moon. A feat once just a flight of fancy had become a reality.